she was mad and she felt that she could be mad and entitled. She deserves the ridicule that she's getting. Emma Roberts was arrested for assaulting her boyfriend, Evan Peters. He was found by police to have a bloody nose and a bite mark on his hand. Emma was at the center of Hayden and Rachel Bilson split. She's talented, but her lack of empathy and passive aggressive, mean and hurtful behavior fooled by one hell of a drug made her one of the most toxic actresses in Hollywood. She then looks at me and she goes, don't you mean lady? Emma Roberts is great at playing an entitled snobby brat on television, but it turns out that she might just be playing herself. She's been accused of acting racist and making anti-trans remarks, all while demanding her spot in Hollywood productions. Is Emma Roberts really as bad as everyone says she is? Let's get into it. Emma Roberts is one of the biggest actresses on television today, yet her reputation says that she may not be the kindest celebrity in Hollywood. Let's go over some of her worst moments, like this one where she was labeled rude after a run-in with Secret Service. Emma Roberts is facing fierce backlash after rushing out of a bookstore in the Hamptons and allegedly snapping at a black Secret Service worker. I guess she was at the same bookstore as former President Bill Clinton, and a video captured Emma saying something, according to fans on social media, was obnoxious, rude, and borderline racist. Get out of the way. This is It's a quick video and a quick moment, but it went viral because she's just walking right by this guy and says, get out of the way, which he wasn't necessarily blocking the entire walkway. So it just like seems very ignorant of her. One person noted that Emma Roberts just purposely walked towards this man in his direction and told him to get out of the way. And I do not doubt that she knew that he was some security to Bill Clinton. This moment led to a lot of people upset with Emma. One person writes, Emma Roberts is racist and transphobic. I mean, look how she treats that black secret service agent. I don't think there was any reason for her to go off in a huff. I think that uh, uh, that contributes to the perception that she was uh, in the wrong here. I wish people would just sort of smile and say, hey, Bill Clinton just ruined my bookstore experience or whatever. <laughs> Look, I've been blocked by motorcades of presidents that I don't like and I've gotten mad, but have I taken it out on the cops? No, I just sort of smile and laugh and say, okay, that's just how it is. And if she had smiled and said, all right, this is the sort of day that I wanted and I don't want anything to do with Bill Clinton, uh, excuse me, sir. This would have been fine. Nobody would have made, made a big deal out of this. Yeah. And the irony is she didn't want to be in any paparazzi photos associated with Bill Clinton. And that's where she is now. She is associated with Bill Clinton because she was mad and she felt that she could be mad and entitled and take it out on whoever was locking the door or guarding the door. And she felt she couldn't be polite to him. She deserves the ridicule that she's getting. Now, celebrities have bad moments time and time again when they're out and about and they just want to be living their lives. But her relationship with Evan Peters was more than just a bad moment because they had a toxic and violent relationship. In 2013, Emma was arrested for domestic violence after an alleged altercation with Evan Peters. Their heated argument led to their hotel neighbors calling the police. When the police arrived at the scene, they found Evan Peters with a bloody nose and a bite mark, while Emma Roberts had no visible injuries. Their representatives put out a statement saying it was an unfortunate incident and misunderstanding. No charges were ultimately filed, which happens quite often in domestic violence situations, and they went on to date for like another year. It seems like we've all forgotten that Emma Roberts was arrested for assaulting her boyfriend Evan Peters in 2013 after he was found by police to have a bloodied nose and a bite mark on his hand. The media would go on to claim that the couple was in a mutually abusive relationship, something that is highly controversial, and there's no evidence evidence that Evan Peters ever assaulted Emma Roberts in any way, shape, or form, but enough that she assaulted him because she was arrested for it. Now, the only reason she didn't have charges brought against her is because Evan refused to do so. And like many abusive relationships, the couple stayed together on and off for years, even getting engaged and breaking off said engagement several times. And the only source that the media had that Evan was ever abusive to Emma was sources close to the couple or friends close to the couple say, which I never personally trust when it comes to celebrities. Cite your sources. And if you're wondering, these photos are from the very next day when Evan came to pick her up and his injuries are visible. I have a deep dive on their relationship if you want more information, but Emma's also been accused of ruining 
other relationships. For example, Hayden and Rachel, two other celebrities in the industry, blamed their split on Emma Roberts. Emma and Hayden co-starred in a 2018 film together, and at that point, Hayden had been dating his partner Rachel for years now, over a decade. These two even have a child together. But that didn't stop Rachel from discovering text messages between Emma and Hayden, which led her to believe that their on-screen romance had spilled over into their real lives. Reminds me of the Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater situation. We never actually got to see those text messages, but Rachel filed for divorce and they separated. Keep in mind, they have a kid, so they were done. Emma chose not to to publicly address the matter and the entire incident remained relatively low profile. Anonymous sources close to the couple told People Magazine that they had been experiencing difficulties before Emma, but really Emma pushed them over the edge. When we shot these exclusive pictures of Hayden Christensen and Emma Roberts looking pretty cozy on the set of their film Little Italy back in June of this year, we didn't think much of it. But now, with the report that Emma was at the center of Hayden and Rachel Bilson's split, we had to give them a second look. Us Weekly reports that Bilson found text messages between Christensen and her Little Italy co-star, which led her to believe that they were having an inappropriate relationship. But neither Hayden nor Emma have addressed the rumor, and we're only left to speculate. But they sure looked like they were getting along while filming the romantic comedy in Toronto, Canada. Obviously, Hayden should know better because you just don't cheat on your partner. So we can't really blame Emma for all of that. But we can blame her for causing problems on the set of American Horror Story. This article reads, Emma Roberts acting like a real wicked witch on the set of American Horror Story Coven. According to a new report from Star Magazine, Emma Roberts, who plays the role of Madison on the hit creepy drama, is not just acting like a witch, but is being a witch. This report writes, honestly, I find it hard to believe. Emma seems seems like a super sweet girl, except for that one time she beat up her boyfriend Peter Evans. But apparently Emma's attitude was getting out of hand that another actress on the set said that she told her to stop with all the nonsense. Quote, Gabby finally told Emma to cut her attitude and stop being rude. A lot of people say that Emma only ever got this role on American Horror Story because her aunt, Julia Roberts, is close with Ryan Murphy. Quote, most people think that she's a mediocre actress that wouldn't have made it in the industry if it wasn't for her dad and her aunt. A lot of people say that the only role that Emma plays well is that of rich bratty girls. Maybe it's life imitating art or the other way around. But either way, she has a hard time showing off her acting chops in other roles. And there are some blind items about Emma, like this one. The A- minus list actress comes from an acting family, but she'll never get the biggest name in the family. She yelled at her stylist on the phone with language one would not expect from someone who was sitting next to people she didn't even know. The stylist is apparently an idiot and lucky to have a job. And that seems to be a reoccurring theme. She's very rude to people. She talks down to other people. And there are so many blind items showing exactly that. She's talented, but her lack of empathy and passive aggressive, mean and hurtful behavior fooled by one hell of a drug. And that is made her one of the most toxic actresses in Hollywood. She's known for using her last name, cute looks and immaculate image crafted by Nickelodeon to do without wilt with because she could. Here are some of her diva antics reported by actors who have worked with her. One, she raises her voice constantly and gets physical even with her family if things don't go her way. Two, she used the excuse of researching for her roles to engage in cuddle puddles, experiment with hardcore drugs, and get whoever she wanted. Three, she treats everybody on the set of films and shows as her personal assistant and the girl's hygiene is horrible. <laughs> Why have we heard this before? Someone said she demands to design clothes, books, food, and other cool stuff for free and only shows gratitude if she has a camera on. Some brand owners figured that out and started charging her since it's not 2010 anymore and she wasn't on top. Most of her social followers are organic bots since she opened her account on IG slash Twitter. Hmm. Five, if she didn't like a female co-star or felt threatened by one, she would toss them under the bus and convince the directors the person wasn't good for the part because she couldn't stand amateurs. She can stand amateurs, yet she's a Nepo baby who's here because of her family's success. People are calling Emma Roberts transphobic because of how she treated a co-star on AHS. Her co-star is Angelica Ross, and she claims that Emma would not identify her as a woman. She's a trans woman, yet Emma made it clear that everyone knew that Angelica wasn't a lady. In the moment, everyone reacted to Emma's statements, but nobody stood up for Angelica because she was scared that if she were to complain about what Emma's saying to her, she would be considered the problem because Emma Roberts is Hollywood royalty. Angelica blasted Emma Roberts on an Instagram live, and here's what she had to say. She goes, John, 
Angelica's being Angelica's being mean and he goes and I know she's being you know she's not being for real for real she's just being whatever and John is like okay ladies you know that's enough let's you know like get back to work and she then looks at me and she goes she goes don't you mean lady and she turns around like this and covers her mouth and goes back here but can't see I'm looking at her dead ass in the camera like what the f did you just say and I'm standing there looking at her dead in the damn thing and I'm like trying to process the f she just said I'm standing there and she walked away my blood is boiling if I say something it's gonna be me that's the problem and I know this because there was someone who spoke up about what she was doing and they got repercussions from it not her they did I didn't speak to that bitch the entire time after that so we had scenes together and I never spoke to her. She said, she said to me, she could feel the energy coming off of me. She was like, are you okay? You haven't been talking. I'm like, mm-hmm. Don't play me. You've been playing mind games with everybody on the set and everybody's been waiting for the moment that you would get me. So it's definitely just a mean, rude comment that is so unnecessary and really shows how insecure Emma Roberts is if she needs to trash people like that. Or maybe she's just a trash person raised by a trash to speak to other people like that because they're all entitled Hollywood stars. But in that moment, Angelica was like, wait, what happened? Because everything was going so great. So why did she just like issue this personal attack? Now, everyone on the internet blew up. They were so mad at Emma for doing this and they stood by Angelica's side as they should. Should. Emma doesn't seem to necessarily address any public scandals like throughout this video there's nothing that she's ever commented on and she didn't comment on this but she did actually call Angelica and supposedly issued an apology that way. Actress Emma Roberts has apologized to actress Angelica Ross after Ross took to live sharing an experience she had with Roberts on the set of American Horror Story. Angelica also claimed in the live that other people on set had issues with Emma and when they took it to those in charge that Emma wasn't reprimanded. Instead, those who had brought the issues to them were reprimanded instead. Angelica also posted this tweet about a separate incident where she says Emma mocked her voice. Clearly the viral video made its way to Emma because Angelica just posted, thank you Emma Roberts for calling and apologizing. Recognizing your behavior was not that of an ally. I will leave the line open to follow up on your desire to do better and support social justice causes with your platform. So it's a good thing that maybe Emma is apologizing now. Maybe she's growing up and realizing that she can't act like this to all of these people or everyone in the industry is going to hate you. I mean, it already kind of seems that way. So she really needs to act kinder. And also, I just understand like it, it takes so much more energy to be so hateful. So why does she have the energy for that? But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.